Watch out for our furry friends the next time you take to the highway because advocates are sounding the alarm about wildlife vehicle collisions during the busy spring migration season. The Oregon Wildlife Foundation has been working on projects that connect animal habitats to enable wildlife of all kinds to move more safely around Oregon's roads. Today on Community Hotline, you'll find out how you can help support these efforts with the Watch for Wildlife specialty license plate. Joining us today to tell us more about the campaign and habitat connectivity is Kalei Augustine, the Development Manager at Oregon Wildlife Foundation. Thanks for being here, Kalei. Hi, thank you. Yeah, it's wonderful to have you here. So can you give us a kind of a quick overview of the Watch for Wildlife uh, license plate campaign? Sure. Um, the Watch for Wildlife campaign goal is to support safe passage for wildlife in Oregon as they move within their natural corridors. To support safe passage, we need to support habitat connectivity. And raising awareness about wildlife needs to survive in the human built world. Mm. Um, so when we talk about connectivity, we're talking about literally how they move from habitat to habitat to survive. So are you, give me an example of what you're talking about when you say they're moved from habitat to habitat. Sure. So um, mule deer, for example, um, migrate for, um, you know, there's in the winter, they come down from the mountains. And in Oregon, for example, the mule deer have in central Oregon have to pass across Highway 97. And sometimes they move as far as from like around the Redmond area to Lapine. So it's a pretty long journey and yeah. there's a lot of busy roads in between. So what, what you're doing is trying to help them find a safe way across those roads or to where they're going without getting hit by a car, I mean, basically. Yeah. 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 So how, how does that work? How, what does that look like when you're trying to provide that safe passage? Yeah. Well, um, a lot of different groups in Oregon are working on this. Um, ODOT, they build the roads, right? Um, they are well aware of this problem. And so they have installed some underpasses mm -hmm. and these are very expensive. Um, so a lot of different groups have been helping with this effort. The Oregon Wildlife Foundation has helped with the Gilchrist underpass, which is just outside of Bend under Highway 97. The infrastructure is in place, the underpass is in, all types of wildlife are, are going under it. Um, but to make it, to, to capture them all and push them under the underpass, um, a lot of fencing also needs to be installed. Um, the fencing alone is over a million dollars. So a lot of groups have, um, like the foundation, stepped up to help pay for that. So it's, it's a big project. Um, but we're super happy to be involved with that. Tell us a little bit about where you're at with the campaign though and, and how, how, how that works. Sure, um, so the DMV requires um, when you launch a new license plate, you have to meet their requirements, which is to um, pre-sell 3000 of the license plates. So we're in that process. We have sold um, 2,450, <laughs> so You're we're well getting there. Way. Yeah, we only have 550 more to go. Um, it's been a really interesting project. Um, you know, the pandemic definitely slowed us down a little bit and um, it's really picking up again. The, the word is getting out. I wanna invite people that are watching this. If they would like a Watch for Wildlife license plate, you can go to our website and uh, sign up for one. So once, once you reach that, that threshold, once you've sold the 3,000, what happens then? Um, good question. So we submit all the information to the DMV, all everyone's name, because they have received these paper vouchers from us. And then um, DMV starts the production, which can take up to five or six months, I've been told. We're really hoping it's faster. Um, and then they... Uh, start producing the plate and they're available in DMVs and our 3000 early purchasers can go down with their voucher and get their license plate and the general public can, can then start buying them as well. And, and they're really, they're really um, good looking plates. They are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you happen I, to have one there? 
I have a, a picture of one here. Um, it has a mule deer, it has Mount Hood behind it. It's very iconic. It says, watch for wildlife. Yeah, that's beautiful. It'll be fun to see that on, on the cars and knowing what goes on behind it because I had never had any idea how that, how that worked. Mm -hmm. So, um, so then you'll reach the goal, you'll be able to sell them. And then that money will go directly to, will it go to the Oregon Wildlife Foundation or does it get split up between other uh, organizations as well? Um, the DMV will take a, per a percentage, but the majority of it will come back to the foundation. It's, uh, I think about $35 from the 40. And this is for sales and renewals of the plates. Um, so the money will come back to the foundation. We have a project committee that will help determine which safe passage um, connectivity projects we wanna fund. Right, right, that sounds wonderful. So mm -hmm. um, before I let you go, tell me a little bit more about the Oregon Wildlife Foundation and, and how um, people can support it in addition to the license plates. Sure, um, we were started in 1981. And so this year is our 40th anniversary. We're excited about that. Um, we do a variety of things. We don't just sell license plates. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, we, um, we are the fiscal sponsor for nonprofit groups that don't have their 501c3 status. So we have eight groups that we help with. Um, we work on lots of projects um, with other groups around Oregon, uh, state agencies like ODF&W or ODOT. Um, the Gilchrist underpass is a great example of that. Um, we also give grants. We give about $100,000 in grants every year to, to groups that are doing projects um, all over the state. Um, so if you have a project you want to apply for some money for, you could look at our grant requirements on our website. That's good to know. That's good to know. Cause there's a, there's a lot of people that are, that really want to work in this area, but sometimes don't know how to go about it or have the funding. So mm -hmm. that's wonderful to hear. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're doing wonderful work at the, at the foundation there. And I really appreciate you coming on. Is there anything, anything else you want to let us know about the importance of wildlife conservation or, or just about the foundation? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I, I just want to let people know that um, now is a really critical time in our uh, on our planet to uh, help wildlife. Um, conservation is really important, and it's available to everyone. Everyone can be a conservationist, um, whether you are planting something in your garden that will attract pollinators. That's helping the ecosystem. Um, if you want to make a donation to the Oregon Wildlife Foundation, that's a great way to help. Um, of course, the license plate is a great way to help because it's an ongoing source of funding for conservation. Um, like I said, the sale, the money from the sales um, and the renewals will, will come back to the foundation. And if you wanna just get information about conservation, if you're, you're still wanting to learn more, um, our website has tons of information. Uh, we partner with a lot of biologists, hydrologists, foresters. Um, they help create materials, content for our website. Um, we also do monthly community conservation talks that are a free online talk where you can learn about different topics. Um, recently, we did one on pollinators and we have all yeah. kinds of information. So. You know, I think that's a, a really good place for people to to start the conversation with their children, because kids always ask lots of questions, you know, when they're especially when they're young and they ask about, you know, why, you know, why do you kill a fly but not a bee, <laughs> you know, or whatever the question mm -hmm. might be. But uh, there's a lot of answers there and make it easier for for parents to um, start them as conservationists at an early mm -hmm. age. Yeah, talking about like, you know, planting a native plant in the yard that will attract some some native um, wildlife. That's that's a really good topic. And yeah. of course, when kids see like a dead deer on the side of the road, you know, like there are some ways that we can help stop that or, or lessen that that animal car collision rate that's really high. 
yeah uh-huh. and, and everybody likes animals so that's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a good thing yes i i appreciate that uh, i appreciate the work you're doing um thank you so much kalei for for coming on here today and i would encourage everyone who you know is due to get a new license plate or even if you're not that go ahead and, and order this one because it's beautiful and it's going to do a lot of good and thanks to our viewers for joining us today uh, be sure to check it out on their website and in the meantime from all of us at metro east stay healthy stay safe <laughs>